You can do all things. You can do all things. I've been dancing to that song since I got home from church today. You never lost the battle. And you never will. Yeah. And you can do all things. Somebody needed to hear that today. That God can do all things. Hallelujah. Never lost the battle. Hallelujah. And you never will. Mighty God. What a song. I was just dancing with the Holy Spirit today. That you can do all things. Never lost the battle. And you never will. Hallelujah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome back to Be Encouraged. It is indeed a pleasure to have you join me one more week and be encouraged. Hallelujah. Today's encouragement topic is this. Living out the measure of faith given unto us, unto you. Living out the measure of faith given unto you. You see, faith is a gift from God. <laughs> but if you get a gift and you don't act on it, you don't believe in the gift, you don't really enjoy the gift, you don't, you put us, the gift aside, that gift will be of no benefit to you. And today God is saying to us, reminding us, we need to live out the measure of faith that has been given unto us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Today, I'm reading from several scriptures uh, uh, in the Bible, so please bear with me a little bit because it all it builds up the whole way of the Holy Spirit, what the Holy Spirit is saying to us today, encouraging us with today. Romans 10, 17 said, Consequently, from the NIV Bible, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Hallelujah. In Luke 1, 37 from the NIV, it says, For no word from God will ever fail. Hallelujah. And then in Hebrews 11, verse 6, NIV, it says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Exercising, living out, acting out the faith the measure of faith that God has given unto you. Faith is both a noun and a verb. And this is not an English class, but we all know that a noun is a person, place, or thing. And a verb is an action word. Each of us has been given by God a measure of faith. The mere fact that you are a Christ follower, you believe that Jesus came and he died for you and he was raised again. And through him, you have salvation. It means that you have faith. But many of us don't live like we have faith. We allow the enemy to come in and to really steal that faith from us and that is where we live in doubt and we live in fear and we live in anxiety and we're so messed up because we are not exercising that measure of faith that God has deposited in us as his children. I looked up the word faith in the Greek dictionary and it says that it comes from the word pistis. I hope I get that right. And it says it means belief, firm persuasion, assurance, firm conviction, faithfulness. Faith is the confidence to know that God is working even when you cannot see it and nothing around you feels or looks like he's working. I think today of the woman with the issue of blood. She had a measure of faith. She saw herself healed the minute she made connection. She made a touch. The minute she didn't have to touch his hand. She didn't have to touch his feet. 
He didn't have to touch her. She just knew. She sat in her home and she knew in her heart. Absolutely no doubt. Absolutely no fear. Absolutely no worry, no concern, no anxiety. She knew that if she touched the hem of his garment, she would be healed. And so she moved into action. You see, many of us are not seeing our faith come to pass or come to fruition. Why? We are not taking action. This woman, she got up out of her house. She saw the large crowd. She didn't allow the, the size of the crowd to, to stop her, to change her mind, to say, you know what? I'm not going to touch him today. Today doesn't look like it's possible. What she did, she had a mission. You see, faith puts you on the path of a mission that you are not going to stop believing. You're not going to stop knowing. You're not going to stop trusting. You're not going to stop relying on God. And you are not going to stop. Why? Because you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to keep his words. You heard it. You read it. You know it. You heard it preach. Somebody tell you about it. And you know that God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. The woman press. Are you pressing? Are you taking action? Are you knowing? Are you believing that God is going to do what he says he's going to do in your life? When you have faith, true faith is this. You see yourself outside of the circumstances that you're praying about. So you want to get married. You're getting older and you're wondering, my goodness, am I ever going to get married? God said I was going to, I'm going to get married, but am I ever going to get married? And you sit down and you worry. And you start doubting your age, you're getting older. You know, you don't see anybody or whatever and all these kind of stuff. And you start wondering. That is not faith. Right away there, that's a lot of doubt. And do you believe that if you're doubting God and you're not taking his words, has he said it to you? Do you really think it's going to happen? <laughs> Maybe not. Because you're not trusting God enough on that. The woman took action. She moved into position. Are you moving into position to get what it is that you're asking God for? Are you taking the action? Are you seeing yourself married because you want to be married? Are you seeing yourself healed because you desire healing? Are you seeing yourself in the job that you're supposed that you're praying about and, and asking God for? Have you bought the, the clothes to wear to the job? Are you getting the mindset of working in the office or if it's construction, whatever it is that God is calling you to? Or do you see yourself doing it and enjoying it and having fun with it? Are you exercising the measure of faith that God has given unto you? Are you seeing your children saved? Or are you seeing them in the circumstances that they are today? Are you seeing your marriage healed? Or are you seeing it in the way it is today? Are you seeing yourself enjoying the journey with your husband or your, your wife? Are you seeing yourself having the kind of joy that you desire, you'll be praying about, the intimacy, the connection? Are you seeing it? Are you taking action on your faith? Or are you allowing what is happening in the natural realm around you to keep you down, frustrated, annoyed, discouraged? Are you allowing that to keep you down? Today, the Holy Spirit is saying to us, I want you to exercise 
the measure of faith. I want you to act upon, to believe the measure of faith, to move, to act. The measure, act on the measure of faith that he has deposited in you. The Bible tells us in Matthew 7, I believe, verse 7, 9 to 11, I believe, that God will not give you a stone when you ask for bread. He will not give you a snake when you ask for fish. Because you don't do that to your children. So why do you think your perfect heavenly father is going to do that to you, not give you, according to his will, what he purposed for you. Why are you allowing the enemy to rob you of what God has in store for you? Because you're not believing it. You're not trusting the word of God. The Bible said faith come by hearing the word about Christ. And we see in Luke 1 verse 37, it says... No word of God will ever fail. So why are you allowing the enemy to rob you of this measure of faith that God has deposited in you? This week, this day, you need to start exercising it. I was talking to my sister and this might seem as a simple thing, but it's very illustrative. She loves birds. And she wanted a particular kind of bird, a particular color of bird. She didn't even wait until she get the birds before she bought the cage. She went ahead, she bought the cage, she bought the feeding, and she was relying on God because she loves birds so much to give her the exact kinds and colors of the birds that she desired. And very soon after she did that, she got those birds. <laughs> what are you doing? What action are you taking? Because of your belief in God, because of your trust and confidence in God, what action are you taking to exercise your faith? The woman with the issue of blood took an action. She got up out of her house. She knew that she wasn't supposed to be outside, but she got up out of her house. She saw a large crowd. She didn't care. She pressed and she made her way and she pressed and she pushed and she pressed and she pushed until she reached out and touched Jesus. And the Bible said immediately, I believe if you start taking the action that you suppose that you are supposed to take, in bringing to pass what God has promised you and what God has said over your life, you will see an immediate shift. Hallelujah. In your circumstances. What action are you taking or have you taken to exercise the measure of faith that God has given you over your circumstances, over your lives, the promises he has made, the things he has told you, the thing, the words that he has given unto you. What action have you taken? I believe today that God is reminding you and me that faith without works is dead. You have a role. You have a part to play in seeing Faith in action in your life. To see the things come to pass in your life. You have to believe it. You have to know it. You have to trust God. Absolute trust without any kind of doubt. It's a divine kind of trust. A divine kind of belief. A divine kind of confidence. A divine kind of knowing that God is going to do it. Regardless of what you see, I remembered there was a time in my life that I was going through something, something very, very hard and difficult. And I believe 
with all my heart that I could trust God on the circumstances. Things didn't look the way I wanted it to look. Things didn't sound the way I wanted it to sound. But you know what? I always reminded my Abba. As I was going through what I was going through, I always reminded him. When I give him thanks, focus on him, drew deeper in love with him, be getting more intimate with him, I always end my prayers with this. I said, Lord, I know that nothing is impossible with you. And because I know that, I can trust you. And whatever it is that you desire for me, I know without a shadow of a doubt that it will come to pass. You know my desires. You know my desires and I deliver them to you, God. And I trust you with me. Today, God is saying to you, my friends, are you exercising the measure of faith that he has deposited in you? Act it out. Live it out. Walk it out. Run it out. Day by day and day and night by night. Never stop believing and know that God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. But there's something that you need to do. Evaluate yourself and say, Lord, am I trusting you 100% in what you say that you are going to do? Am I trusting your words 100% without any doubt in my heart? Am I doing that? And if you are, believe you me, this is your week of victory. This is your week of deliverance. This is your week of celebration. Remember, you can do all things. You never lost the battle. You never lost the battle. And you never will because you can do all things. God can do all things. And you have to trust him and believe in my friend. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And please do join me next week for a brand new video on Be Encouraged. Are you exercising the measure of faith that God has deposited in you? God bless you.